I was browsing the internet, which is a bad habit and I need to stop because I find stupid things like this. This is a potato radio and it's a type of crystal radio where you use a potato. So this is our potato. I'd like to show you the original picture, but of course, you know, they won't let me do that because of copyrights. But what we have here is we have a potato and it's been cut in half and there's a piece of plastic inserted in between. The original one says like mica glass. It's in French if I understand it correctly, but it says put a piece of mica glass in here. So it's, it's an insulator. And then we have our 1N34A diode or equivalent. We have our crystal earphones, our antenna and our ground. And yeah, um, so we're gonna murder a potato in the interest of science. Let's get started. Okay, let's bring forth our victim. Let's get zoomed in here so we can see. Check to make sure we're in focus. There we go. Get our knife and poor potato. Just slice her like that. So yes, this is a real genuine potato. And then we're gonna get a piece of plastic wrap because I don't have any mica glass but i don't think that's going to matter because we just need an insulator okay like that and i need to keep it down there we go now we rejoin this um need to hold it together now i was going to use duct tape but that's stupid of course because this is an electrical project so we have to have electrical tape if I can get it to stick on here. Now the original diagram used a rubber band, but you know, pff, rubber band. There we go. Yep. And scissors. Now, I am not going to eat this potato when I'm done because we're going to stick wires and whatever in it. And those wires, of course, are treated with lead. And lead is bad stuff. So, if we look at our diagram, all we're going to do is we're going to run everything in between the two halves. And then with the antenna on one end and the ground on the other end. So, I take my poor diode. There's construction work going on outside in case you can hear that. And we stab it down in there. Okay, can you see that? There you go. And then we're gonna get our crystal earphones and we're gonna stab those into the potato like that. Okay, so that's our, our earphone. Now, I guess the next step is, next step is to just do the antenna in the ground and then listen to it and see if it works. Okay, well, let's go over to that bench and hook up the antenna. Well, as you can see, we have our oscilloscope hooked up over here to our output to our earphone. I will listen here while I stab the antenna and the ground into the potato. Um, get my hands out of the way. There's one. I'm not hearing anything. So let's see what happened to the other end. There we go. And two. And I am hearing Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nope. Not even a crackle. Hmm. And the scope's not picking up anything. Let me punch it again, let it. I'm doing the auto mode. So 
So I have a really strong radio station nearby. So if this will not work here, it is not going to work at all. Yeah, I'm just squeezing these. I should get out of the way. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, I guess that it was going to work because basically what you have is you have a conductor. So this is like a breadboard. The potato is basically your breadboard and you're sticking your components into the breadboard. And this is not an atypical setup. But frankly, I should be able to get a signal um, just by, let's see if I can, see if I can do this. Um, by running the diode in series with the um, earphones instead of across the earphones, I should be able to get a signal. So um, let's see if I can do this on camera, if I'm going to have to take it off. I need to go this, this, and then to the um, yeah, then to the ground, which is kind of silly. So if I just do this, sorry, I know I'm getting my hands in the way, like this, like that. Yeah, now I'm getting something. Can you see that? Not really. Let's reset that. I am getting the faintest music. So it appears that the circuit diagram is no good. Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, I clip these two things together. I took too long and my camera battery died. But you can see right here that we are getting something. It's just barely audible to me. Yeah, the potato radio circuit, as shown, does not really work. Um, you know, you could probably fuss around with it and get it to do something, but frankly, you might as well just use the, uh, I have a video on the world's simplest radio where you just run a diode and the earphones in serial between the, between the antenna and the ground, and you can pick up the strongest station nearby. And it does a lot better job than, than the potato. So, um, is this a is this workable well sort of if you want to use a potato as a breadboard but is it necessary no it's totally unnecessary and it's really just a waste i think the concept was the potato was going to act as a capacitor in the old days where the headsets uh, needed capacitance and nowadays they don't so yeah this is a this is a bust and uh, it was an interesting experiment it cost me one potato because again, no, I'm not going to eat it because all the lead that's been poked into it and it's now reacting with the potato juices. Okay, well that was it. Hope to save you some time uh, trying this experiment yourself because eh, it's just not worth it. Okay, well that was it. Thanks for watching.